Starting off in music news, we have a, a follow-up, honestly, that <laughs> is probably predates any of the other outlets. This has just been something that we've talked about on the YouTube channel, but it is technically still a follow-up, and that is Limp Bizkit. Uh, we just got an interview with Wes Borland over the last few days with uh, Johnny Christ from Avenged Sevenfold. He has a YouTube interview series called Drinking with Johnny that uh, he interviewed Wes Borland. Wes said, we basically have the next record complete. Plus, we have approximately 35 uh, songs that the instrumental has been recorded for. All we're waiting on is for Fred to pick a couple of songs, or pick the tracks that he wants to do vocals to, and then lay down the vocals. Uh, Wes sounds very endearing when talking about Fred these days. Uh, says he's heard some of the demo tracks that Fred has not been uh, super happy with as far as his vocals go, but he does see where he's going with it and really likes the direction. Uh, claims that this is the best that he, uh, the best music he has written in years or ever, I believe, at one point he says in the interview. So if you want to watch the full interview so you can see exactly the quote and not just hear me misquote it left and right, then you can follow the link down in the description. But uh, yeah, pretty freaking awesome. Also of note from this interview, he says it's very likely that the next record will not be called Stampede of the Disco Elephants because that's just a ridiculous title. I mean, so is Gold Cobra and Chocolate Starfish, but whatever. All of that, that is our one follow-up. Let's jump into, there are no new music videos to discuss uh, of note, but there are some tours that have been announced. Uh, first up, we have Testament is going out with Exodus and Death Angel. Uh, it's called the Bay Strikes Back Tour. It will be starting in, uh, I'm sorry, I have to read this, in Danville, Virginia, September 9th, and it will end November 27th in Oakland. Uh, California, yeah, and the next one, this is the one that I'm super excited about. Uh, I, I didn't find links to, you probably go to Testament's website for that one, but uh, yeah, that's what we have for that tour. Our next tour is gigantic. It is Meshuggah. Not only is it Meshuggah, but it's also Converge. It's Meshuggah with Converge in support, and then a band I've never heard called Torch. Uh, link for tickets is down in the description because this is a tour. If you are into heavy music, you owe it to yourself to see this tour this year. Uh, yeah, I will very likely be getting tickets for this one. Even if I don't get an interview out of the gig, it will happen. Uh, anyway, uh, this tour starts fe February 23rd of 2022, obviously. Uh, and it's in Silver Spring, Maryland, and it goes through March 20th in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, our final tour for this episode's music section is ZZ Top. ZZ Top is going back out on tour starting July 16th uh, at the Delaware County Fair. And they, there's so many freaking dates on this tour. They're staying in Vegas for approximately a week, which is kind of freaking awesome. Uh, but they're going all the way through May 14th of next year. So this is, like I said, a gigantic tour uh, in uh, it will be somewhere in Newfoundland, Canada. Uh, I didn't write down the venue, but yeah, it's everywhere. It's everywhere in North America. It's not, uh, this is not the European leg of the tour. That uh, presumably will come later. Uh, that is all we have for new tours to announce. Let's get into the actual news. And first up, we have a bit of a shout out to the Nirvana camp. Uh, One billion streams on Spotify. It smells like Team Spirit has recently passed the billion mark. So now they are on the billion uh, billion streams playlist. It seems crazy to me that this song took so much longer to pass a billion than the uh, Linkin Park song that we talked about a couple of weeks, months ago. Uh, yeah, just interesting but awesome nonetheless. So congratulations to the guys over in Nirvana, the surviving members anyway, Dave Grohl, Chris Tanovaselic. You guys, congrats. Uh, John 5 is our next piece of news. John 5 is putting out a new record called Sinner, and this record, John 5 is one that puts out albums frequently. He's not quite buckethead levels of prolific, but he's pretty freaking close. Um, on top of putting out records with Marilyn Manson back in the day, and now with Rob Zombie, he also does solo albums. This Sinner record is going to be another solo album. 
this album, the reason we're talking about it, again, because he does this a lot, is because he has a very special guest vocal, or guest drummer, rather, on one of the tracks. The name of the track is Georgia On My Mind, presumably not a cover of the uh, Georgia State, uh, State song, uh, but the guest drummer for this song is going to be none other than Peter Chris from the original Kiss lineup. Um... I, I, you, it is no secret how I feel about Kiss, so I'm kind of mixed on this. I think it's cool that John Five has a legendary musician coming in to do a spot on the record. It's a little not so cool that that legendary musician is from Kiss. So yeah, that's all we have for music nerds. Mm -hmm. 